It's a beautiful woodlot and a nice day. Got a couple of hours left before the sun goes down and I won't be able to see anything. Come on with me, we're in Michigan again and it's time to look for a couple of caches. And this next one, hopefully we can find it, is from May 2001. Just a little bit of bushwhacking, right on the side of a, a little bit of a ditch. And uh, the hint said a fallen log, and I see one right here. I think we're gonna get lucky. This one's gonna be done pretty quick. Check this out. Right there. Oh, it's right there. Boom. Good thing it's uh, blending in with the fall colors. A little bit out in the open. I'm surprised it's still there. Uh, but I guess nobody comes from this direction. Hmm. Let's take a look, see what's inside. That's in pretty good shape. Rotary tree, that's the name of the cache. Yeah, it's got a little bit of swag in it. Some Kleenex, stamp. Yeah, no trackables, but we'll sign it. It's not the original log, but it's still quite old and it smells like it too. This uh, log uh, book is was replaced in 2010 so this itself is 11 years old and this cache was placed on the 5th of May 2001 so that's one down let's see how many more can we get before it gets too dark there we go we'll cover it up a bit so it doesn't stand out so much and off to another oh what a gorgeous day here in eastern Michigan The title of this next cache was called, Is This Large Enough? I was expecting a large cache, although I didn't check the description to see what size it did say, but I think it's talking about the tree, because this is a, a large oak tree. And I can already see where the cache is. There's a hole at the base of the tree right there, and that's where the cache is located. So let's go get it. Hello, anybody home? Not before you go in. There. That's not bad, that's a regular. When I opened the cache, I was uh, met with a nice friendly little face. Here, take a look. <laughs> that's a cute guy in there. A nice big old tree and a good find for another one. And this little dirt road in the middle of uh, busy roads is a busy place. Let's get this one away and go on to another cache. Just checked the description on that one and it was listed as a large, although I'd say it was a regular, but I'll take it. Wouldn't you? Just a few miles to the next cache location and it got a little bit darker. And on the way to the next target cache, we're right here at an earth cache called a Vernal Pond. Just a few questions here uh, from the panel and the location you're at. And then uh, you gotta take a picture. So here I am. Cheese. The next one is calling for a bit of bushwhacking because uh, there's no trail to it. And it's called, It's a Wreck. What do you think we're gonna find when we get there? Put in the comments below whether you were right or wrong. Because I'm thinking, I know what I think it's gonna be. Get closer, you see it? Okay, is this what you thought it was gonna be? All right, whoa found the wreck but can we find the cache I think I caught a glimpse of it but I'm not sure is that it there no that's a seat cushion that's a headrest that's not it hmm this ain't your daddy's station wagon and I thought usually the junk is in the trunk but down under there I'm not seeing anything Getting a little worried. Didn't see it on the first go round, but another look into where the seat cushion was, I was able to find the cache. 
and it looks like it's in great shape. The log was pretty good, nice and dry. And I'm gonna put in a cash can of the pack. There's a path tag in there, one of our cards, and a couple of goodies for the kids. So we'll put that in there and put her all back. Well, that's a wreck and that's a wrap for this episode of Cash Canada. There's more caches to be found. And thanks for joining me. And this will be probably the end of my Michigan adventure now because now my job that I'm working for moves back into Canada and I have to leave my employment here in Michigan. Thanks for joining me and make sure you subscribe and look for more caches with Cash Canada. Thanks. There we go.